All right, we're going to do some notes again. You should already have these actually in your um, in your notes. Um, so if you feel like you're writing the same thing down, that's okay um, because that's how you would get it ingrained in your head. So first thing, standard form. If we write a quadratic in standard form, um, knowing you know the parent function of any quadratic is y equals x squared. So that just makes a u. So um, standard form is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Remember, if a is positive, the quadratic opens up. Okay, so if a is a positive value, the quadratic opens up. If a is negative, the quadratic opens down. So right away, you should get a picture of what this quadratic is going to look like, just from that value a. The y-intercept is the point 0, comma, c. So whatever that c value is gets you the intercept, and so the point of the intercept is 0, comma, c. The vertex, and which is also called the axis of symmetry, is going to be x is equal to the opposite of b divided by 2a. To find the y value, you would just go ahead and plug that, whatever that x value is, back into the equation and get the uh, vertex. So that's standard form. We go to vertex form of, an, of a parabola. Vertex form of a parabola is y equals a x minus h squared plus k. Remember that in a parabola, the tip of the parabola is called the vertex. In this case, a still does the same thing. If a is positive, the parabola opens up. If a is negative, the parabola opens down. The vertex, the x-coordinate, or sorry, the, 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 the vertex point of this thing, The vertex point is h comma k. Now the only thing I would say you need to be careful of with is if I give you an example and I say y is equal to negative 2x plus 3 squared minus 4. So if I gave you that, you know that this, that this opens down and the vertex Notice that it's plus 3, so that means the vertex is negative 3. And notice it's minus 4, so that vertex is minus 4. So you just have to be careful on the, um, the value inside that parenthesis for that x value. Intercept form, and it's really x-intercept form. Because we know the y-intercept we can find from, from somewhere else. But the x-intercept is when you write the equation y equals a, a still makes it go up and down, x minus m, x minus n. So it's the factored form. So notice that this is the factored form. So if that's factored, then the x-intercepts, so remember, that's where the graph crosses the x-axis are at the points m comma 0 and n comma 0. So that's where the graph crosses the, the x-axis. Now again, you got to be careful on this because if I give you an example, y equals you know, negative 3x plus 4, times x minus 2. Again, now the x-intercepts would be at 
negative 4 comma 0 and 2 comma 0. So you got to be careful with the signs on that one as well. Just like you have to be careful on the signs on the um, on the vertex form. Okay, so let's say I wanted to plot this. And notice, on a lot of these questions, you're going to be asked to plot the root, um, including the roots and the vertex. Remember the roots. The roots over here, um, these are the roots and the zeros. That's what these are called also. The intercepts are called the roots and the zeros as well. So just remember that that's what x-intercepts are, roots and zeros. So it might be called that. So if I'm working with this one, if I'm graphing this, notice right away, I'm going to have a hard time finding, uh, I can find the intercept. We know the, the y-intercept is going to be negative 21. It's going to be 0, negative 21. So that's the y-intercept. We know that there's a vertex when x is equal to the opposite of b. So notice b is negative 10. So the opposite of b is 10 divided by 2a, which is 1, which is negative 1. So in this case, it's negative 5. To find the y value, what we'd end up doing is we would plug in negative 5 in for x and then do some calculations. Um, you know, in this case, we got negative 25 plus 50 minus 21. So 21, uh, negative 21 minus 25 is negative 46 plus 50 is 4. So our vertex is at negative 5 comma 4. So we know our vertex is negative 5, about 4. Right away, we know this thing opens down because a is equal to negative 1. So we know this thing is going to open down. And we could factor this and get our, we could factor this by factoring out a negative 1 first. We got x squared plus 10x plus 21. And now if we figure out what two numbers multiply to get negative 20 to get 21 and add to get 10, you should know, oh, that's 7 and 3. So our x-intercepts then are going to be negative 7, comma 0 and negative 3, comma 0. So negative 7, 0 is right there. Negative 3, 0 is right there. And then to find other points, because it asks you to plot five points, you're going to just um, make x, pick x equal to negative 4, and find y, and then that will get you the other points. Because remember, this thing is symmetrical. What you're going to end up finding is those values, um, because it's that a is 1, this thing is not skinny, so it's just like this. And you're going to find that value and that value, and then Delta Math will go ahead and graph that for you once you plot all five of those points. But notice it opens down. We got the intercepts. We got um, we got everything we need. It's going to be hard to graph that y-intercept just because it went off the page. Um, let's take a look at this one again. You know we're we're going to graph this one. Um, this one. Notice that it opens up. The y-intercept is going to be really difficult to graph because that's going to be 0, 32 because that's that c value. Not really going to be something I'm going to graph. But what I can graph is I can graph the vertex because the vertex is going to be when x is equal to the opposite of b divided by 2a or negative 6. So if I find the y-value that goes along with that, I got negative 6 squared plus 12 times negative 6 plus 32. Now, you maybe need a calculator on this to calculate that. Maybe you can do it in your head. 
you know, if I do it in my head, I got this is 36. Um, this is going to be minus 72 plus 32. And I end up with y is equal to 36. And 32 is 68. 68 minus 72 is negative 4. So negative 6, negative 4 is my vertex right there. Negative 6 comma negative 4 is my vertex. Now, I can find the intercepts or the roots in this case because to find the roots, we're going to take y is equal to x squared plus 12x plus 32. And what we're going to do is we're going to factor this. We're going to factor this into uh, two numbers that multiply to get 32, but add them to get 12. That's 4 and 8, which means our roots are going to be negative 4, 0, and negative 8, 0. If we graph that, negative 4, 0, it's going to be right about there. Negative 8, 0 is going to be right about there. And if I graph a couple more points here, what I'll end up getting is a parabola that looks like this. Okay, so graphing those other points, the negative 5 and um, negative 7 for x, just, you know, find y when x equals negative 5. Just calculate it, and you'll find out that it equals negative 3. Um, next one, find the coordinates of the vertex of the parabola algebraically. Remember, the vertex is going to be x is equal to the opposite of b divided by 2a. So it's 24 divided by 4 or 6. That means if we take that equation and we say, well, y then is going to be 2 times 6 squared minus 24 times 6 plus 88. I could do that on my phone or my or calculator. Um, let's see what that, what I get on that is I, sorry, my phone's going off. I'm going to turn that off. Um, what I'm going to get on that is I'm going to get y is equal to 2 times 36 minus uh, 24 times 6. I'm just going to use a calculator on my phone. 24 times 6 is, so this is negative 144 plus 88. And then um, 2 times 36 is 72. So we got 72 minus 144 plus 88. And we're getting y down here. Um, if we get this, we'll get 72 minus 144 plus 88. And that should equal 16. So our vertex is at 6 comma 16. The last one, um, take a look at something like this and um, notice that if I'm going to look at this one, um, I look at this, I'm matching this one, match the equation. Well, notice I got, it opens down. Um, so it opens down, so A is negative. So right away, that means that I'm not going to need this one, and I'm not going to need this one. Um, now I just got to figure out what these, these um, intercepts are. And notice I got an intercept of negative 4, 0. And I got another intercept of negative 9, 0. Which means that if you think about where that's going to be in the equation, I'm going to have whatever this a value is, in this case it's 0 0.5, and it's going to be x minus negative 9, x minus negative 4, and that's why we end up getting a x plus 9 and x plus 4 for an intercept, uh, for the x intercept. So that's the one we want. We don't want this one, and that's going to be our answer for that. Um, go back and review these notes. 
if you need more help, uh, good luck. Let me know if you need help.